Okay, okay, we are back with more Taylor Swift. Uh, another track off Evermore, Ivy, produced by Aaron, classic. Uh, tenth track tells the story of a married woman falling in love with a person who is not her husband, leading to an affair. Okay, I don't think I can relate to this one, but I'm still curious what it sounds like. Let's go. <laughs> Incandescent, oh my lord. Pause. Grieving for a living, god damn. <laughs> um, so wait, this is about... But that sounds like the husband's dead. Her husband's dead. What do you mean? It's an affair. I was one to know I'd meet you where the spirit meets the bones. See, like, she's still alive, but her husband's dead because he's bones. Um, and then they're talking about the old widow goes to the stone, which is like, you know, the the stone. What the fuck are those stones called? You know, the markers when people die, dude. I don't, I just hmm. sit here and wait, grieving for the living. He's dead. But it's been promised to another role. I can't stop you putting roots in my dream lane. My house of stone, your ivy grows, and now I'm covered in you. Nice. Um, I'm. You know, when people die, their their blood flow stops and their bodies get cold. So, like, I'm thinking, like, my palm fits in the palm of your freezing hand, like, as if they're dead? To so the nervousness and fear this woman's affair is taking from this relationship. Is this even confirmed? Because it doesn't seem like it's a living affair. It seems like somebody is dead in this situation, and they're in love with a dead person. Am I tripping? Covered in you. Covered in you. What color is opal? Is that blue? Opal stones. I, I, I mean, I know, I've heard of it, but what, what color is opal? Oh, it is blue. Okay, I was going to say. Okay, okay. Sounds like she's in love with a dead man. Maybe metaphorically? I hear the guitar. So yeah, it's a fire. It's a goddamn blaze in the dark and you started it. You started it. So yeah, it's a war. It's the goddamn fight of my life and you started it. You started it. I 
still don't get Her vocals are so good on this. Very smooth, silky. Evermore's production is pretty consistent. There, it's a theme. There's a theme. I mean, there's always like themes and stuff, but like, it's a pretty consistent production, dude. Um, what, what the chorus here? I get this part now. Stop you putting roots in my dreamland. Like her with her husband, it's like a dream, and this new dude is putting roots, and then her house of stone in this dreamland is getting infected with poison ivy or something. You know what I mean? Like that's, I get that, but. It, it just makes it seem like somebody's dead. You know what I mean? At the start, it was really making it seem like someone's dead in this situation. Talking about a widow, talking about a gravestone, that's the word. Um, the spirit meeting the bones, I guess that could be taken a different way. The freezing hand. Like, there's so many references in here that it's like somebody is dead. Song about infidelity, illicit affairs, August. No explanation. Um, the meaning. Unhappily ever after. <laughs> gone bad that includes infidelity oh my god huh my pain fits in the poem one of those things known as poetry that only taylor or lana could write <laughs> and they know we live for it i'm uh, <laughs> i'm glad they mentioned lana as well respect hmm the invisible string of the album i'm claiming this because this is my name ivy okay Is this gay? What would he do if he found us out? How does that insinuate that it's a gay situation? There's no... That doesn't make sense. Netflix hired me as one of the girls in your Winx adaptation because I feel like a full fairy now. <laughs> that sounds gay to me, sweetie, and I'm here for it. Is why I've seen some stuff about this stuff. Isn't there? Isn't there like a name that people have called her, like Gaylor or something like that? Because like they think she's gay, but like if anything, she'd be bi, she, right? But like I don't think she is. I don't know. I, didn't she come out and say no? Like I, I don't know. Maybe it's just like a joke at this point. Um, it's a cool track. I think it's a cool track. I really love her vocals on this one. Uh, their lyrics are well done, but I do not relate to them. Um. The beat was really nice. I really like the production on Evermore. Like the, it just feels like you're always in a forest. Like right here, like the cover here, this like, it's not even a forest. It's like just in the bush somewhere. You feel like you're there. The production of this album makes it feel like you're there in that, that, you know, wilderness. I, and I love that. So for me, man, keep it late, man. I'll keep, like I said, I didn't really relate to this track, but I did like the vocals and I do like the writing. So I will rate it. I'll give it like a solid eight, eight. 87, 87, 87. Because I feel like the relatability is a huge part. So for me, man, I'll give it an 87. Uh, this possibly could have been a 9 if it was, if I, you know, was married and I cheated on my wife, I guess. <laughs> cool song, man. Cool song. <laughs>